Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. In this video, we'll see the solution for science journal for standard 8, experiment number 10. The aim is to demonstrate that medium is necessary for propagation of sound. The apparatus and materials are tumbler or glass and cell phone. And you need to draw the same figure on the right hand side where the space is given. And the procedure is take a glass tumbler, make sure that it is dry, place a cell phone in it. Ask your friend to give a ring on this cell phone from another cell phone. Listen to the ring carefully. Now surround the rim of the tumbler with your hands. Put your mouth on the opening between your hands. Indicate to your friend to give a ring again. Listen to the ring while sucking air from tumbler. Does the sound become fainter as you suck air? Remove the tumbler from your mouth. Does the sound become loud again? Can you think of an uh, explanation? Is it possible that the decreasing amount of air in the glass had something to do with the loudness of the ring? The observation is, when the glass is completely filled with the air, cell phone ring is heard loudly. As the air decreases in the glass, sound becomes fainter. This shows that the decreasing amount of air in glass had direct relation with loudness of sound. And the conclusion is, Sound needs a medium to travel. Air is also a medium. When all the air is removed from the glass, it is said that there is a vacuum in glass. The sound cannot travel through vacuum. Now test your knowledge. Question number one is MCQs. First one, the range of audible frequencies for human ear is 20 hertz to 20,000 uh, 20, hertz. Second, loudness of sound is measured in the unit. Its option will be decibel. Third, sound cannot travel through vacuum. It's option number D. Fourth, what is the unit of frequency? It's option number C, hertz. Fifth, the normal length of vocal cord in men is 20 millimeter. It's option number A. Sixth, in which of the following media does sound travel fastest? It's option number C, iron. Now, question number two, that is fill in the blanks. First one, Time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is called time period or periodic time. Second, if amplitude of sound becomes double, then loudness will become four times. And here we come to the end of experiment number 10. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I'll surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.